Hello, I wanted to follow up the last video where we talked about the amplifier with some waveforms from the amplifier on an oscilloscope. In all of these waveforms, we're AC coupled, so they're all riding up on top of the 300 volts or whatever voltage happens to be in the circuit that we're measuring. And all we're looking for is the ripple in these circuits. In this first one, we're looking at the output of the rectifier. So basically on the schematic where it says 320 volts and it's going into the capacitor and the choke, we have 22.9 volts of AC ripple on that 320 volts DC. And both channels are just connected to the same place. Okay, then if we move over one on channel B, I'm going to leave channel A where it is, and I'm going to move over one on channel B, we can see that the ripple has been significantly attenuated. It's down to 400 millivolt ripple in the blue. And if we zoom in a little bit, we can actually look at it here a little better. It's 430 millivolts. And uh, you, you notice that the LC filter has also applied a phase shift. So the ripple that is getting through the inductor is slightly shifted. So if we move over to the next RC stage, so this is after the 1K, the ripple has been further reduced to 46 millivolts. And if we move over to the last stage, we can see that the ripple has been reduced to about 12 millivolts. So we can see as we went through the Pi filter, our ripple has been reduced from 23 volts to 430 millivolts, which is about a factor of 50. The first RC reduced it from 430 millivolts down to 46 millivolts, which is not quite a factor of 10. And the last stage reduced it from 46 millivolts down to 12 millivolts, which is about a factor of 4. Okay, so that's the operation of the filter in real life waveforms. So next video we'll look at the input. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope it was useful. Bye.